Okay, welcome to another video breaking down just basic rucking. So I've had a few requests out there just um, wondering what the best practice is or just a common practice just to get off the field. As you can see, this game, team with the balls got off the field and now they're on. So let's just, um, let's, let's break this down. But in, um, in a perfect world, you wanna be getting off the field in no more than three touches. And I'll explain why. But first, the first clip we're gonna look at is, is your baseline ruck pattern. So this is the ruck pattern that everything is based off. So starting with a middle, 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 middle. So at training, we'll probably go through the rucking pattern from this spot or the far side. The far side obviously being the hardest. So we start off middle, middle, and it's just straight up the middle. Okay, we get our box sides middle first, or we get both uh, jamming in the touch, one, two. All right, so that's that's basic middle, middle. If we start out here, this link will be the dummy half. We pass one, and then we can pass two. We So we pass one, run forward, draw this middle, pass to the second middle. It, it's pretty straightforward. So we get to the middle, and that can be done anywhere. So close side, we can go straight to the middle as well. Now we give it to the link. This this link here is, whoa, that's a, whoa, that's a terrible circle. Um, don't judge me on that. His job is basically just to run off now. He, he's not involved in this pattern. The quicker he can get off, the quicker we can get our first person on. So we go to our box side link, and you may be thinking that they're just going to fade for our winger, but not, not the case. They're going to square up their opposing link and get their inside shoulder. Now, if you look, it's very hard to see. If you look at the way that this guy is turned, he's turned in towards the camera, which is away from the other middle who's now sweeping around. And because he's turned the wrong way, he's turned to make the touch, it just allows that little bit of extra space for this middle to now sweep around and now fade for our winger. Their winger can't progress forward because there's one, two here. So if he starts shooting, if he just comes and tries to slam this middle, he just passes the ball off to the winger and the winger's down the sideline untouched. So he can't move forward, he's got to backpedal until we make the touch. So we'll just go through this in slow motion. So we have the first run here up the middle. Then it's to the link. Number 17's the link he wants the inside shoulder of. One middle at dummy half, one sweeping around. And then we go to that winger and you can see the two the two guys in the previous rucker off. Now this is called the latch. Now the latch is basically the connection this player here, he's the first link on the field. It's basically the connection between the players going off and the players coming on. And all his job is to make the dump on the middle or the three in and buys time for everyone else um, to get on the field. And also by getting this player here, by dumping the ball on the middle, it means there's one, two here with everyone else coming around, but three defenders. So if this player gets the ball next, this middle can't shoot at him because if we just go through the hands, we've got an extra player. So that's why we want the middle. If we dump that ball on the link, which is here, and they had an extra player here, they can all just start moving forward because it's four on four. So that's why we wanna get the middle because we've got more players coming around than they have left over. Complete the circle. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's have a look at another way we can sub off so they score off that. We're sort of more focusing on how to get off the field, but towards the end, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about things that you can do when you come on, something really basic anyway. So this one's starting from here. Now, once you've run your sub pattern a few times, uh, teams might get a bit of wind of it. So another option to do that was a penalty. That's why, that's why it's like that. So there is going to the middle, but as you can see, this link is hanging back. Because he's like, all right, well, they always go to the middle here. So why should I go up forward? If you can, you can throw that extra pass. And now this link does the exact same job. However, he's dumping on touch one instead of touch two. So he's getting the inside shoulder of that link. And this means with that extra meters up here, you might get off in two touches. So we might've just bypassed the first middle, middle dump. There's the inside shoulder. There's the middle sweeping around. And there, that's why we don't hit, because he can give. 
bit of eyes up. Now, very important here, the link here that's passed the ball to the winger, he becomes dummy half. He doesn't just sub off because then we'll have no dummy half. Their roles just switch. Yep, they've got off in two and that latch comes on. Now, just going back, if they hadn't got really to halfway and they were still struggling to get meters, one of the middles just hangs on the field and takes a, another punch up the short side there. And then our latch can come on. So they're still getting off in three touches. Here's the latch that comes on and he gets the three in. Everyone else has got a back pedal on that. This is a pretty cool try, but we'll, we'll skip that. Okay, so this is men's touch. So we've started from the side here. This is another variation that we can do. So instead of going to the middle, passing it to this middle, he saw number two here come up and try to put pressure on. And by doing that, he's just like, all right, I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna go down for the link. So the link is held. He hasn't run off yet. He's just um, staying there to be dummy half. So we go down, but this is where the ball needs to get to the link. We can't punch another one up to the middle because then we'll find ourselves running sideways on touch three to get off the field and we won't be going forward. So we use our passing to get the ball to the box. One, two, and now the link's got the ball. He knows his job, regardless of who gives him the ball, how he gets the ball, inside shoulder. And there's the sweep around. And again, this guy can't come forward because it's a two on one. And we saw the play before where they just gave it to the winger. He dummies, he dummies, and then he kicks over on the end. And then there's the latch coming on. And he'll go for the three in. There. And you can see the players coming around now. If they go pass, draw him in, pass, draw the winger in, pass, there's a try. And you'll see on the next clip they actually score from that. However, this one, they do get a repeat set. So our final clip is another variation. But remember, it all comes off the, the basic principles of that link getting the ball on touch one or two. That's what we want. So here's another one. Got some midfield pressure here. So he gives if he gives that other pass, number three just meets him with the ball and holds him up in the touch. They lose all momentum. So it's great work here to go down. Link will be dummy half and then he can sub off. The wing is going off as well, but that doesn't matter. One, two, pass. But now there's a bit of separation here so instead of going the inside shoulder what this link's done this time is he's engaged and he's thrown the ball because he knows the winger is probably back here somewhere so we can chew some extra meters up and remember what i said he's thrown the pass now his job dummy half all right their, jo their jobs have switched and as you can see this middle is hung around to take one extra punch to get some extra meters, but in this case, which that's totally fine. You can take a punch like that and get the ball played up near halfway. You're still off in three touches. There's something else you can do is while you're taking that punch, you can give to the latch. Now that, in that case, they've probably got too many on the field. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So this guy here will just have to wait, which is fine. There's still plenty of time. If he angles back in, he can get around, that's fine. But that's what you can do. You, we call it keeping the ball up, keeping the ball live, bit of eyes up, save us a touch, because now we're dumping the latch on four. And this is why we get the three in. Let's watch the finish of this. Everyone's packed in nice and tight, a little deep and running fast. Pass, pass, pass. And that's called a fly. But yeah, that's um, basic rucking. Go back to the first video where they go middle, middle. You can do that from any point in the field. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Appreciate it. Bye.